This might be one of like the hardest melodies I've made in a while. That is hitting. That is really hitting. I know you're not coming back though. My sad life keeps going on. My friends. Hey, what's going on? Hope you guys are great. I'm doing great. It's actually my birthday and I hate telling people it's my birthday, but I thought what a great opportunity to use my date of birth for clout. So now you all feel obligated to comment happy birthday and it helps the YouTube algorithm. I'm sorry. Either way, there was a package out on my doorstep, which is kind of weird because I was like, I saw the package and I wanted to grab it. And then I was like, well, I better film an intro and then go grab it. Kind of a weird YouTuber thing, but we're gonna go grab that package and see what's inside. People still like unboxings, right? Like I used to love unboxings, people just unboxing stuff. I used to think that was the coolest thing ever. So an unboxing to start this video, who's excited? What's the best way to film an unboxing? Maybe I go over here. Oh, whew. all jokes aside, what's in this box is actually something I've wanted for a very long time. Basically, well, you're gonna see what it is. Paper. Ooh. Hey, a t-shirt. I always need a t-shirt, you know? You can't go shirtless everywhere. This little device upgrades your whole studio and I'll show you guys how it works. So this is what it looks like. Sound ID reference by Sonar Works. I'm gonna start setting everything up and I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, yeah. By the way, look at this. Look, new camera. I got a new phone, the new iPhone. We're gonna test this out. I don't know if this looks good or not. Let me know down in the comments if you like this angle or you like the old angle better. So to explain what Sound ID Reference by Sonar Works actually does and how it actually will affect my entire studio without changing anything in my studio is this. In here, you guys saw this little microphone and Sonar Works actually has a software as well with Sound ID Reference. So we're gonna create a speaker profile. Wait, this gets cool. I promise this gets cool. Room evaluation. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see it. Lots of moving around today. That's all right, we love it. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Right speaker done. So as you guys can hear, the speakers are like pumping out these like high and low frequencies, like putting out these sounds so they can hear what the room sounds like around me. Like if the bass is too low in my room, you know, maybe I need more bass or maybe I need less. If the some frequencies are different, I'll show you guys how this works though, but let's go to the next step. Obviously my room, this room in here is not like professionally sound treated. I'm not in like a crazy outrageously soundproof studio. So as you can see, look, looks like around 40 Hertz. I'm missing some low end, but actually everything else looks pretty good up here. It should be flat, but as you can see, the curve is adjusted to the room. All right, so now I'm actually gonna just sit down and make a beat like we always do. I'm gonna mix it and master it and kind of see the difference between one of these beats and one of my beats without sound ID reference. Keep in mind that this isn't a part of your mix. This is just adjusting the speakers to your room. So you don't want this on your master when you export. I mean, this melody might have took me a long time to get the guitar, but this is. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. All right, 
those hi-hats are moving. Key, it sounds fire with just the guitar too. This might be one of like the hardest melodies I've made in a while. I've been making a lot of like lo-fi and chill stuff, but this is like... That is hitting. Um, let's get like an 808 in there. For this 808, I'm literally just gonna take the bass notes of this arpeggio. Nice little 808 in there. Okay, so I have like a little mixing and mastering tutorial already. If you guys want to go watch that video, I'll link that down in the description. But this is kind of how I mix. So I'll just put everything down to zero. Start by bringing up my kick. Have that hitting around minus 10, snare. And then I'll kind of like see where I want the melody leveled in comparison to those drums. That sounds good. Bring up some of these percussion, the hi-hats. Now the 808. We want our final mix to kind of be hitting around minus 6 dB. So now we have our master and notice how sound ID reference is my last thing on my master chain. We want to kind of keep this on right now as we listen. So something that I noticed is I can definitely hear my low end, I think a little bit clearer. I think the low end is a little more present. I think in this room, I lose a lot of low end. So with the Sonar ID reference, I think I can tell a little bit of that. My 808 sounds like it's hitting a little bit harder. Um, the high end sounds a little bit sharper as well in some places. I'll probably have to like go for a long time, like going off and onto it to really tell the difference. Those are just some little things that I could tell right now. I really do think this is a great tool. Like I said, this is something I wanted to get for a while. Um, and I don't show you guys stuff on this channel unless I actually truly believe in it. If you have a space, a studio space where like, you know, it's not professionally done. Mine isn't right. I'm just in my basement. You know, this might be something you can definitely get into. I'll leave a link down in the description to Sonar ID reference. You saw all the things I had to do. It literally maps your entire room basically and adjust the frequency. As I said, you see that curve that it made for us. And then you can do this again if you move, right? If you move studios, 
you can do that same thing again. If you're in a friend's you know, place, you can do it. Um, and you can have different profiles for different places and it'll automatically adjust those curves. You can save them. I think that's super dope. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sound ID reference by Sonarworks, down link in the description if you wanna pick that up upgrade your studio space without putting in a bunch of like acoustic treatment and stuff like that so go check that out and as always have a great rest of your day peace